If you are a fan of the famous cartoon, Finding Nemo, or, Finding Dory, then surely we cannot forget the extremely cute clownfish, with outstanding colors. Most clownfish are orange with three white stripes evenly distributed on the body and head. Adults range in length from 88 mm to 110 mm, their tail and fins are round with a structure of 11 bones, so they swim very quickly. Clownfish usually live under coral reefs, they are commonly found from the Australian archipelago, the waters of Southeast Asia and northern and southern Japan. They are often found near anemones, creatures that live on the seafloor, feeding on tentacles that release poison when their prey touches them. Clownfish are omnivores, eating both plants and animals. Clownfish's favorite foods are algae, plankton, worms, and small crustaceans. There is a special thing they live in symbiosis with sea anemones, eating non-living organisms harmful to the anemone, the clownfish's excrement then becomes nutritious food for the anemone. Therefore, anemones always protect clownfish by secreting toxins that protect clownfish from other predators. Clownfish are also the only species that are not poisoned by anemones. The mucus layer outside the clownfish is made of sugar, so the anemone cannot recognize it to attack. Then the co-evolution of clownfish and anemone made the clownfish immune to the anemone's poison. Clownfish have an innate ability to find their way home. A team of researchers from James Cook University, Australia, after an experiment concluded. Clownfish have the ability to sniff out leaves falling from the forest on the island, near their home coral reef, so no matter how far they go, clownfish can still find their way back home. Therefore, when the clownfish's eggs hatch, they are swept away by ocean currents, the clownfish will live in the open sea for about 10 to 20 days but they will find their way back to the reef where they were born because of their innate ability to find their way home. In the vast ocean world with countless different species of fish, clownfish are famous for their special swimming style. When swimming, they do not swim like other fish, but they will sway gently as they move and that posture evokes welcoming happiness. When they detect someone peeping in their territory, their mate will immediately slam their jaws together, creating a continuous click. Researcher Eric Parmentier implanted metal pieces into their jaws and discovered a way to make strange noises like the knocking of a clownfish's door. It's like the sound of people clinking their teeth when they're cold. When confronted with an enemy, especially the very aggressive leader, it will rush out first and the others will also attack those who dare to invade their territory. Clownfish is a very special fish in the ocean, basically all clownfish are born hermaphrodites with complete testicular and ovarian tissue, Clownfish are sequential hermaphrodites, meaning they alternate between sexes at some point in their lives. Clownfish mating depends solely on which tissues are encouraged to develop, largely on social experience. In a school of clownfish, the two largest clowns in the school are responsible for the reproductive function, they are the only couple in the school. In addition, there are a few adolescents to help look after the herd. If the dominant female dies, the male leader will change sex and become a breeding female. Meanwhile, Another large commoner was upgraded to become a breeding male. The social structure of clownfish and its ability to change sex may be related to the habitat in which clownfish choose anemones. This fish uses a poisonous host, an anemone, to help it hide from predators. Thus, clownfish's ability to change sex helps them ensure that the largest male clownfish doesn't have to wander into unsafe waters to find a new mate. Thank you for watching the video.